This tutorial will introduce you to timeline markers and marker effects in photo to movie 5 I assume that you've already watched the photo to movie effects tutorial. Timeline markers will allow me to apply an effect at a specific time and with a limited duration. I start with a few photos and some audio to which I can add timeline markers and apply marker effects. I've also inset the frame by 10% using the layout inspector so that it's easy to see some of the effects. And I'll start by adding a timeline marker to this photo. I move the scrubber to where I want the marker to appear. Then I choose the menu item, Add Marker, from the Edit menu. I can adjust the position by dragging. Initially, no effect is applied, and you can see that by moving the scrubber around the marker. But up here in the inspector, I can choose what effect I want to apply at this marker. Not all effects are available. For instance, a border effect is really only useful on a photo-by-photo -photo basis. But there are also other effects that are only available for markers. I'll choose one of those now, the zoom effect. Now I scrub over the marker and you can see the effect applied. That looks pretty cool. I'm going to change this effect now to something else. I'll use Pixelate. I'm going to adjust the timing to make it a little longer for demonstration purposes. I need to adjust the scale to actually have it do something. You'll notice as I scrub over the marker that the photo starts normal, becomes pixelated, and then returns to its original form. I can also adjust the transfer function so that it doesn't ease in or out. I will make it so it simply becomes pixelated immediately and then slowly becomes normal. Here you can see it jump to pixelated and now it returns to normal. Using these variations allow you to come up with a whole variety of interesting effects. I'll add another marker and make it do a color burst. It's worth noting that effects can overlap. If I move this marker here, both effects will be applied. Finally, you can also add markers to audio items in the timeline. I click on the audio item here and add a marker. The effects attached to this audio marker will actually be applied to the photo track. In this way, you can put markers at specific points in the audio and have those effects synchronized perfectly on your photo track. This concludes the Timeline Markers and Marker Effects tutorial.